in this chapter, uh, chapter 5, which is uh, the chapter title is Cascading Style Sheets, uh, part 2. So part 1, part 1 is uh, here, part 1 is in chapter 4. What we have explained earlier was actually part of chapter 4. And backgrounds, element, dimension, border, style, and all menus are all part of chapter 4. Chapter 5 has these uh, topics, and let us see if we can um, cover some of these uh, topics in this class. Uh, this uh, new uh, style sheets uh, elements are uh, added to CS, CSS3 which is version 3 of Cascading Style Sheets. So I'm going to start with the first one, which is Text Shadow. How do you create Text Shadow on your, um, uh, on your uh, uh, HTML document? Let me first go over the code, and then I will explain uh, how you would create. It is very easy and very small text. Look at it. It's just like that. Let me just remove the style from it and see how this one looks like. So if I just uh, if I just open my HTML document, it is not much. It's just looking like one line with this text, as you can see, text shadow. That's it. A word, two words. They are here in H1 element. H1, it's a big text, as you could see, big text, heading number one, as you could see, and that's what's showing. So here I have uh, this screen showing both the the code uh, for this uh, text shadow. It is just a statement or two words. Text shadow. You can write whatever you like to to write. I just choose these two words as also in the title here to explain or to. Uh, you know, uh, just for you to know that I'm talking about text shadow. What is a text shadow? Text shadow is shadow on the text. Some text shadows on the text, you can create them using different application. But on this uh, one, we use the text shadow, uh, text shadow uh, property. So for H1, which is, I have embedded style here, as you could see, the embedded style inside the the style element style here h1 for h1 which is this one make text shadow okay now we're going to talk about these elements uh, among these uh, values for the text shadow i have minus 5 px 10 px and 12 px and it's green and font size 400 i'm going to explain all that after showing you the effect of this uh, in my in my uh, html file so here it is this is how it looks like. Now, uh, font size 400, so it's going to actually increase. Let me start from font size, the last property, font size 400. And the more you write, you, the more it makes big. If you make it like 600, you see that the text, uh, um, the text uh, shadow increases. Is uh, the, uh, sorry the the font size increases to 600, which is the font size of the of the H1 of the text itself. 600 percent. All right. Now you see a shadow. What is the color of the shadow? In your screens. Green, Doctor. Green. green. Yeah, that's that's uh, the the color of the shadow. So if you put yellow, for example, here. You see that will affect uh, the shadow uh, to make it yellow, like yeah. that, yes? But now we have done two things, which is the font size and the, uh, and this uh, uh, color, but we don't use the word color. We use shadow for what? We use, I mean, yellow for the text shadow itself. What is the color of the shadow? What is the color of the text shadow? The text shadow color is... Uh, Light uh, is 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 uh, yellow. All right. Now look at the minus sign. Minus. I have three values for these numbers. These three values. You see the minus 
uh, minus five pixels, uh, minus five pixels. So if you put, uh, uh, for example, you remove the minus, and and you see that uh, the more the more value you put, like if you put, for example, minus fifteen. What is going to happen for this one? Okay, if you put minus 30 to make it uh, okay, now it is clear that you see the difference now. The minus does what? The shadow, doctor, it's gonna be uh, far than the text, more to, to what to the right or to the left. To the left, doctor. To the left, to the left. Uh, now, let me uh, make it minus 20, but make this one uh, 40. The one in the middle here. All right. What do you see? You see that the shadow goes to the down, doctor. To the down. So the middle one takes the takes the shadow down according to the number y axis uh, that you, you you put here so if you'd like to make it close you can make it uh, uh, you might make it uh, 10 this will make it close to the, to the to the text so this one will make it close to the text not too much but if you make it 15 it's going to be a little bit under that uh, under that text let's see that Okay, now uh, if you put uh, uh, 12 pixels for the last value, let me use like 30 pixels for the last value. Uh, what is the last one it is, is about? Let me use uh, 50 instead. This will make it clear for you. I hope that you see that the more the last value is about the concentration of the shadow. So the more value you put, the lighter the shadow will be. So if you put, for example, 5 px yellow, now look at it, please. The concentration of the color, the concentration of the color. So the color is lighter when you, when the value, the last, the, the last value is, uh, uh, is uh, when the last value is uh, is lighter when the last value here out of these va three values when it is uh, uh, you know too too big but if it is smaller if it is a smaller then you will see that uh, yeah, it is going to be concentrated and if, for example if you would like to make it like uh, 60 pixels you see 60 pixel for this for this color is going to be very light. You can hardly see it. You can hardly see it. Uh, but if you make it uh, five or ten, uh, then you will uh, you will see concentration on that uh, on that shadow. So now you know what these three values for, right? The first value from uh, of taking the taking this one to 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 the left. This one taking it down. So the value in the middle is for uh, for the vertical, and this one, the first one is for horizontal uh, movement. For this one, for vertical movement. So for this one, for example, you have um, 15 pixels. But if you would like to, let me see if I added minus 15. What is going to happen for this uh, one? So if you add minus, what is going to happen? For the second one, yeah. Do you see? Did you notice what happened? Let me add more. Yes. The, uh, the shadow go up, doctor. Yes. So here, for example, the shadows go up if you add minus. So the minus in the middle takes it up. The negative value. The positive value. The positive value in the middle. The positive value in the middle takes it what? down the negative value on the 
the first value, the negative value, it takes it to the left, and the positive the value uh, to the right. Uh, the positive value takes it to the right, as you can see. Takes it to the right. Clear, right? Okay. Just let me explain one more time. The property we use is text shadow. Okay. But it has three pixels values. The first one for movement horizontally, either to the right or to the left. The negative one takes it more to the left, while the positive one takes it more to the right. The second one, the second value, I mean, the negative value takes it um, up, while the positive value takes it down. The last one is not about the movement. It's about what? Anybody? Anybody was following me to ask this question? The third value, which is value, is about what? Is it about the movement of the shadow or about something else? Come on. Vector. I'm highlighting that value here. This value. For, uh, the light for the light vector, for the shadow, light vector, the shadow. For the concentration of the shadow. Yes, concentration. Yes. Of the shadow. The the more uh, the more value is going to make it uh, th thick or light? Light. Yes. And the smaller value will make it what? Will make it... Um, if you put, let me put gray. Gray color to change it a little bit to show you this uh, concentration here. You see that uh, the shadow is gray, like a shadow, a real shadow. Now, um, the uh, more value, the lighter, the lighter the shadow. The less value, the less value, if you make it five gray, five pixels gray, then you will see that the shadow is uh, kind of uh, thick gray. It looks like a reflection, mirror reflection of the text itself, as if the, the uh, the text uh, shadow uh, statement is uh, repeated there. It is, it is like a mirror reflection. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? Clear, right? These values, yeah? Right. Yeah. So this is about the text shadow, okay? Let me move on to something else, which is um, I have here on the list, uh, I have the text, uh, text uh, stroke. What is a text stroke? The text stroke, let me open that um, code first and explain it one more time. Uh, so I have here, let me just remove that style for a moment and then show you this uh, file without uh, any uh, style uh, change. So here, I show uh, Jubel University College, written here in S1 element also, same like that one. So here, let me just put this uh, file on this uh, location, on this part of my screen, and here, right, and you can see both screens. Jubel University College, written in H1 heading, right? Okay. So I would like to make some text stroke. What is a text stroke? Uh, also, I use the uh, I use uh, the text stroke uh, element. You can add uh, uh, dash WebKit. The WebKit is uh, uh, additional trailer for the text stroke property. So here you will see how it looks like when I uh, refresh my uh, my page. Uh, first, you need to know that the text uh, text stroke is the color is light blue and uh, the font size is very big 500 percent so these two are very uh, easy to understand which is this is the color and this is the font size nothing but now we are actually explaining this in the middle here and see how it is going to change my text Jubilee University College is it's gonna be three pixels red the text uh, stroke is gonna be three pixels uh, red and here it is Look at uh, look at uh, the uh, at my uh, statement. Jubilee University College. How is it uh, 
is it uh, how is it changed so now you look at uh, text stroke the text that simply the text stroke is how you modify the text to make it uh, to make it have like uh, borders around around uh, the letters and fill in uh, inside the letters with a color this color you can actually change here on this uh, uh, property color so for example um, if you would like to have this one for example yellow you can change it so that you can see the filling color of this uh, stroke is actually yellow like that so this is how you can change the the filling color of the letters the font size 500 or 400 or 300 it depends on what uh, what what you want to to have for example some people would like to use this test uh, stroke uh, property to uh, create a, a picture and then crop it and then use them like a menu or a title in their uh, in their websites so here let me make it 500 but change something i'm going to make this one instead of red i'm going to make it blue see what happens what is blue here for this test stroke will will, will change will change that uh, surrounding uh, uh, color of the letters to make them blue so the test stroke about the 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 letters uh, kind of creating creating uh, frames for every single letter with a specific color this color can be decided by this uh, value also the thickness of that will be decided on the pixels so here for example if you make it uh, one pixel that will your test uh, text stroke will be like this which is very light one pixel like this but if you make it big uh, if you like to make it big, you can increase the value here for this uh, first value. For example, you would like to make it six pixel. See how this six pixel will make it will make it uh, not very good, but at least you see the difference uh, here. You see that uh, it is blue six pixel, which is just too much uh, ink on it, right? Like just too much ink on it. So uh, it's better to make it like uh, smaller so that it will be a uh, lighter uh, stroke on the text like that two pixel is great is great and then you change the uh, this color according to your liking according to your liking you like to make it uh, blue the stroke itself make it blue you like to make it uh, you know uh, different color make it different color like as I said it was uh, red here it is Make it red like that, but still, you decide on the infilling color by the property col color. You make the color here as uh, the, you know the value for the color here is going to change the filling color for the letters inside. So simply, uh, it is using uh, dash uh, dash WebKit uh, color because of the uh, of this um, you know uh, browser, the browser. Uh, which is we're using here um, Google Chrome and also for uh, Firefox, Safari, all these browsers they prefer to use this one. Uh, some of the browsers, I think uh, Mo Mozilla Firefox, uh, they use dash, uh, dash M O Z dash Moz uh, for Mozilla, but uh, the default one we use for uh, most browsers is dash WebKit dash webkit dash text dash stroke these three words are the important ones for this uh, for this um, text st stroke to, to work on these most brow browsers so again uh, if I remove this uh, text stroke from here how does it look like color yellow font size 500 which is just like that okay Make it blue. Okay. See. Okay. H1 blue. 500. 
but it doesn't have a text struct. If you'd like to add text struct, you can add it here by using dash webkit uh, dash text dash stroke and then uh, this is the thickness of the stroke and this is the color of the stroke which is uh, which is uh, you know this uh, because the filling color here is blue I said filling color is blue you are actually filling the letters with blue but if you look at the outside color that actually surrounding the stroke it is red very clear mm -hmm. uh, all right so then move on to uh, to round, round rounded uh, corners rounded corners and I would like to first to show you my three different uh, uh, cor uh, rounded corners. Now, what do you notice here? So, uh, when somebody, one of you can help me explain to me just uh, how do you see? What do you see on, on your screen? A circle, or not circle, oval, it looks like oval. And, uh, from, once, from from top or from down? From down, doctor. Uh -huh. And the middle one is like a... Uh, like, a like a square. Square, but uh, the corner is not... Uh, it's rounded, rounded, right? Rounded. Yes, rounded. And what is the top one? Less rounded. Same square, less, rounded, less rounded. Less rounded. What yeah. do you see the colors? Can you tell me about the colors that you see on your screen, please? Green and pink and blue. Green, pink and blue. Light, light blue, right? And light, yes. uh, light uh, pink or, or pink. And then you see a text, yes. some text inside this, right? Yes. 10, 10 px, yes. 50 px, and 100 px, right? 100 px, yes. All right, good. So what are we talking about? We're talking about rounded corners. So we'd like to see how we can round the corners. And the corner of this uh, specific box, how do we round it? Can, how, what are the values that we can set so that we can make a round, uh, big, very big round or a small round or a very small round? Or it depends on how you would like to put your text on your website. Sometimes you find in some newspapers that they set aside uh, some places in the newspapers to write specific uh, news or advertisement or something like that or a picture, and they put them in such squares, such uh, boxes like that. So our objective here is to see how we can do that. So let me go by one by one, okay, one by one. So I'm gonna actually take it box by box, okay, to see how this is, is very easy to understand, guys. But let me actually uh, cut all this uh, style and show you uh, simply uh, what uh, you will see this is what you will see okay you see this 10 px 50 px and 100 px which are just three uh, three three uh, uh, lines written in a div this div this div and this div but you see that I created ID inside the div I gave them name right Round one, round two, and round three. These are my IDs. Later, I will refer to these IDs to change each one of these divisions by using what? Hash or dot? Uh, hash, doctor, because hash. it is the ID. Hash. Yes, thank you. So let me change the first one, okay? Let me start from the first one, okay? Let me just cut this one so that it doesn't interrupt your uh, understanding. Now, look at the hash round one, uh, which is the first one, this one. Okay. I'm going to make the border, I'm going to make a border for this div. Uh, to make it two pixels, solid red. And I'm going to talk about this padding in a minute. But let me go back down to the background. What is the background? Background is light uh, light uh, green. Uh, the the width of this box is going to be 100 pixels 
and the height is 100 pixel uh, like a square 100 pixel wide 100 pixel uh, high the text uh, on this is going to be a line in the center what is the text this text this this uh, 10px is going to be a line on the center all right and this is my point here, border radius. We use what is called border radius, border dash radius. The border radius will create that border around that box and uh, it makes it according to what you like. If you'd like to make it 10 pixels, then it's gonna be a small round like this. Let me just refresh uh, and show you. So this is, I'm talking about this because I didn't, I didn't um, do this yet. So let me talk about the first one, which is, uh, I'd like to show you the code for it. Okay, now look at the code, compare it to your, uh, to your, uh, to your, you know, uh, to your page. First, you will see that the border is two pixels solid red. This border here, two pixels solid red. And if you make it, for example, uh, five pixels uh, solid uh, blue, of course, you will see that reflected here. Five pixels, five pixels, solid blue. I'm not sure if thin will work. Uh, thin is not gonna work, but it's gonna be here solid. Uh, if you like to make it solid, like this like uh, five pixels solid below. It used to be what? Two pixels solid uh, red. So let me just can get back. Okay, two pixels solid red. So this is the border. Padding, padding five pixels from uh, from top. The first one for top. Yeah, and five pixels from, from top here, yeah, five pixels. If you put zero pixels, look, look at the game. If you put zero pixels from top, then you, you're gonna see this one actually all the way from top. But if you put like, for example, 50 pixels from top, then you're gonna actually make this one 50 pixels from top. So here it used to be what? Uh, five pixels from. 20 pixels from what? From what? 20 pixels, can you guess? From the left, doctor. Yeah, so if you put, for example, uh, 10 pixels. It's gonna be to the left more. Uh, the, the, uh, itself is gonna get merged to the, to the left. Now, the background is like, the width is 50, uh, 100%. So if you'd like to change the width to make it bigger, you can make it 200 by 200, no problem. I make it 200 by 200. This one will make it. Doctor, can uh, we make the text in the center, doctor? In the center of the square? Uh, or in the middle? Maybe it's better to say in the middle. Yeah, I have it uh, text aligned in the middle, but uh, in, the, in the middle of the square, but on top. But here, if you'd like to move it down, you can, you can change the. You can change the. The padding here, I think. Uh, yeah, I know, but when I change the padding, it is make the square more bigger. I mean, in the same size of the square, but in the text, it will be in the middle. That's what I mean. I, I'm not sure how I can do that. Let, let me check later. But uh, okay. this one, this one here, we change the the. So what did I do? I change the width to make it 20, 200 pixels. It's 200 pixels. Let me just change it back to 100 pixels. Uh, make it like that. 100 pixels. Text align center. The text is align center. Let me just check later how I would just take it and put it in the in the center uh, of the box. And and I'm not gonna take it. Yes. Doctor, can I leave the class? Yeah, you can leave the class. Actually, actually, Thank you. Because, I have another uh, Yeah, because because guys, I have uh, I have consumed the time. 
Uh, I'm gonna just uh, explain this too, and then uh, uh, and then and then leave. Just if you give me five minutes, I will explain that. So the border radius is 10, 10 pixels. This is my point here. This is why I, I wanted to explain. Just give me five minutes to show the different uh, types of uh, border radius. So here, the border radius, if you change this one and make it like uh, 30 uh, border radius, you see that the border radius is actually becoming more uh, wider. Uh, if you make it uh, uh, 50 pixels, it becoming like, uh, like a circle. And this is actually applied to this. Actually, the others are no different. I just, the difference in, in them is just uh, the value value here. And the first value is 10, 10 pixels, uh, like this. And the others, these ones, the same thing, except that this is, uh, this is um, uh, 30 pixels and this is 100 pixels. That's why you see them like that. Just uh, I have different background. This background is light blue for this one, and this background is uh, light pink for this one. But they are exactly the same, the same, the same values for all these IDs: round one, round two, and round three. They are the same. The only difference is that the background is different by putting different background color here, and also the border radius is increased. For the first one, I have two pixels. That's why you see the border here, like very small border. For the second one, you see 30 pixels. That you see like a bigger round corner. And the last one is 100 pixels. You cannot have more than 100, by the way. Uh, because more than, you cannot have more than 100 pixels. If you put even more than 100, it's going to be giving you like this. Otherwise, because after this shape, the only thing that is left is a circle. And you can use just a circle instead, right? So that's why you see this one like that, 100 pixels. So this is actually how you can make a round uh, corner of this uh, on these uh, shapes. Now, um, by the way, guys, the video uh, that I'm going to post is going to have all these uh, values. Uh, you can check the video later, inshallah. Okay, and follow the Blackboard for the announcement and review for the quiz. You have questions? Uh, doctor, the quiz uh, gonna be until what, Doctor? Uh, these chapters, all these chapters. That we cover. Uh, I I mean, in the in this uh, you open this chapter five, in which uh, we, yeah. where we will stop well, rounded well, corners yeah, or yeah, the all? Yeah, yeah. Why why we stopped? Here in rounded corners. Yeah. Okay, thank you. The quiz is gonna be uh, how much time, doctor? Uh, let me stop my video so that uh, I can answer your questions. Uh, the video is uh, located somewhere here. Control exit, Doctor. <laughs>